That's the esophagus and vent, right? The beam cap is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Further test conductor John Fraxon requesting pilot air boat clear the caution and warning numbers. T minus two minutes and count. Liquid hydrogen replenished on the external tank is being terminated at the plant. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. All systems are go. About 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on the final mission. There we go. T-minus one minute, ten seconds, and count. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is now at the proper flight pressure. T-minus one minute, and count. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 48 seconds and we're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running up. It's uh, three onboard fuel cells. Coming up when I go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. Rock and roll. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computer is at primary control of all the It's going to feel good, functions. man. <laughs> uh, 20 seconds. Rustin, get up. The sound suppression oh, water system right here. has been activated. Let's see here. The discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine like start. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Look, 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 look. Two, oh. one. Yes. Booster ignition and a final liftoff of discovery. A tribute to the dead patient part of the five of the American Space Shuttle Sierra. The shuttle has cleared the tower.